I was a police commander in South Central Los Angeles 40 years ago when President Nixon declared the war on drugs. A big part of that declaration was against marijuana. He put it right up there in Schedule 1 with cocaine and heroin. It was a felony just like the others. Kids went to prison just like the others. And I bought into that line of rhetoric that marijuana users were the cause of violent crime, that marijuana was a gateway drug that introduced our children to a life of addiction and crime, that the marijuana problem could only be solved through enforcement, prosecution, and prison. I was wrong, but it took the death of one of my undercover police officers to wake me up. It was then that I took my first hard look. It was then that I made up my own mind and learned the real facts about drugs and the folly of criminal prohibition. That police officer and many like him died because of drug money, not because of the addicts and the recreational drug users who will always be a small part of the American demographic. He died because the war on drugs created a black market that has financed the disastrous growth of street gangs across the United States, criminal cartels across the globe, and today a convergence between the gangs, cartels, and terrorist organizations seeking drug money to finance future attacks on America. It is time now for all of us to wake up. It's time now to end marijuana prohibition. And a good start is to begin by regulating marijuana like wine in California. For real freedom, real responsibility, and real prosperity in California, support the Regulate Marijuana Like Wine Act and vote yes in 2012.